today on our menu we have pork and I'm going to show you how I cook my boiled stewed pork that's my pork you have to start by boiling the pork for 30 minutes then you fry it you dip if you want you can deep fry it if you want you can just uh, put little cooking oil so in this case I've not put any cooking oil because the pork already has fat so I'm using the, the pork fat to fry my pork so what we need is tomato, green pepper, onion, a spring onion, some spices. I'll put in my description box where what spices I've used. But basically, there's, there's just two spices. So on the other hand, I'm frying my pork because I want it to be golden brown. And this is the garlic. I don't have garlic powder, so I'm using the normal garlic. As you can see, my pork is frying and it's looking nice. So today I'm not using the blender or the uh, grater, I'm using the kitchen hammer because I don't have the garlic, garlic something, I forgot the name, but I'm using the kitchen hammer and it has given me good results, good end results, I like the results, so you can use this in the kitchen, yeah, wow, the pork looks yummy, nice, so me I want to fry it until it becomes a bit brittle, yeah. Okay, so now I'll peel my carrots and I'll cut my carrots in rings because I just want some decorations in the pots. That's the whole sense of me wanting my carrots to be in rings in this case. As you can see, the carrot is clean. I like it when it looks like this. and many other carrots then when I'm done I'll cut the carrots in ring bone okay there you have it then I'll wash my tomato I'll wash my tomato and, and put it in the blender because I, I hate seeing cubes tomato if I prefer using a blender or a grater so I'll put it in a blender and I'm not going to add water in this tomato because already tomato has water. As you can see there's some little water down there. So I'm going to blend my tomato with the same tomato juice. After I'm done blending tomato, I'm going to blend my green pepper together with the onion and I'll add a little bit of water because Onion doesn't have water in it. So our meat is done. It's fried and it looks nice. So there's our end results for uh, green pepper and onion, and the carrots that I cut together with the green beans for the pork. There's a tomato, like it's blended, like thoroughly. There's my spice, and spring onion is acting like a spice as well. And some garlic that I pounded using the kitchen hammer and the spices. After your pork is fried, you add in the tomato. I like starting with the tomato because I want the tomato to be cooked, cooked, and cooked. Before I add the onion and the rest of the spices. Some of the juice has been has sunk in. <laughs> yeah. I'm now adding my green beans and carrots so that it cooks together. So when you add in your green beans and the carrots, you have to let it cook for three minutes. Three good minutes. After three minutes, I'll add in my spices and let it cook for five minutes. Wow, it looks nice. Then after five minutes, I'll add in my onion and green pepper. 
because it's almost ready. So I added my onion and cream pepper and let it cook for uh, two minutes. For just two minutes so that it just steams. Then after steaming, in this case I don't have thickener, so the thickener that I'm going to use, even before adding the thickener, look at how it looks, it looks nice. So in this case I'm going to use flour as my thickener. I put flour in the bowl and put some water and mix it so it be I pour in the pork so that it's the soup becomes more thick. Because why a lot so that I am adding gravy instead. Changes and the weights to at least. So I cook it for 10 minutes for my flour to cook and everything else. So now our pork is ready. That looks yummy. It looks eatable. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm going to have my pork with okra and some shima. I enjoy it, my meal. It really tasted good. As good as it looks on the plate. That's how it tasted. Hope you enjoyed my video. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.